Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spade in This Day in Texas History for February 25th, 1836. At Goliad, Fannin receives Travis's letter from John Johnson. Fannin decides to leave 100 men at Fort Defiance and march on Behar with 320 men. John Sowers Brooks to Mary Ann Brooks, running from Goliad to his sister. The Alamo defenders are determined to hold out to the last and have solicited reinforcements from, from us. 320 men will head to Behar in the morning. John Cyrus Brooks to A.H. Brooks, his, his uh, father. 320 men and four, uh, four pieces of, art of artillery are heading to San Antonio in the morning. The Alamo is maxed out on cannons. They don't need any more cannons. This will be an issue later on. The Matamoros Expedition. It's going down in the valley, they were going to cross the Mexican border. It was their idea. Francis W. Johnson returns to San Patricio, a group consisting of William Langenham, Ed Hefty, George Copeland, William Williams, Gustav Bunsen, P.J. Mayhem, and a couple of others are sent to guard the horses at Julian de la Garza's ranch, three miles south of San Patricio. General Urea moves towards San Patricio, where his spies tell them the Texans are at. His infantry is commanded by Colonel Nicholas de la Portilla and followed Urea and his cavalry. Calvary. 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 Um, 11.30 p.m., they arrive at Santa Gutierrez and will camp in the woods. The Battle of San Patricio happens in two days. At the Alamo, in the morning, the Mexican army begins working on a trench on the east side of the river known as El Potero. 9.30 a.m., General Castrian leads an attack of 400 to 450 Mexican soldiers made up the Matamoros Battalion and three companies of Cazadores. They would withdraw after a couple of hours uh, with cannon fire, company from Captains Almiron Dickinson, William Carey, and Samuel Blay, Blair. Two Mexican soldiers were killed and six wounded. The Texans were very accurate with their cannon fire. Robert Brown is among a group who leave the Alamo and burn the La Villita, Villita huts that the Mexican army was using for cover. He would later be sent out of the Alamo as a courier and guard the baggage at Harrisburg during the Battle of San Jacinto. The last Alamo movie, they had Davy Crockett doing that, but it was Robert Brown. Charles Despalier is mentioned with Robert Brown for the attack on La Villeta. He left the Alamo as a courier and returned with the Gonzales Ranging Company of Mounted Volunteers on March 1st. He died defending the Alamo. Santa Ana ordered General Ganoa to send his three best battalions to Bejar under Colonel Duque. Mexican artillery moves closer to the Alamo at the McMullen House. A council of war is held at the Alamo, and they decide to send out another message to Fannin at Goliad. No one volunteered to take the message. Once again, gets volunteered to take the message. Once again, and, uh, Antonio Cruz y Arrocha leave the Alamo and try to get reinforcements and delivers Travis's victory or death letter. He would fight with uh, Seguin at the Battle of San Jacinto. Once again, would later on attempt to return to the Alamo as one of two commanders of uh, 50 men to guard Fannin's troops into the Alamo. When Fannin did not show up, he returned back to Gonzales two days before the Alamo fell. With them was my great-great-great-grandfather, who was Seguin's cousin. At 9 o'clock, the temperatures drop into the 30s when a northerner blows in at, in at that time. Another group of skirmishers attacks the Alamo and are fought off late at night. This is at 10 o'clock. 11.30, fighting ends for the night. Over in Gonzales, Captain Tomlinson is elected captain of a company of rangers. Robert McAlpin Williamson to the governor and council of Texas, reporting from Gonzales about Mexican troops arriving in San Antonio. Also has a letter to J.J. Uh, Tomlinson and Bastrop, urging defensive measures against Mexicans and Indians. The previous day, when John Smith and John Sutherland arrived, messengers were sent throughout the colonies about the situation in the Alamo. News reaches the household of Andrew Kent on the situation in Behar. Very uh, interesting story that you'll uh, be caught up on later on. This has been Alan Despeda for This Day in Texas History. Uh, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.